Hey everybody, this is the Webmaster here with Word of Mouth Food Reviews, and yes, I'm back. Uh, I've been busy with the uh, the other show, which is Ville TV Live, if you ever want to go check that out. It's Ville TV, uh, you go to facebook.com slash Ville TV Network, uh, check that out. Uh, we do shows every Sunday at 6 p.m. Uh, the coronavirus hasn't gotten us yet, so we're still uh, operating as normal, uh, doing food reviews and that of the likes. Now, as you may or may not know, the restaurant industry has been hit hard, especially a lot of local restaurants. Um, they are no longer allowed to have dine-in customers. They have to do either drive-through, carry-out, or of course Uber Eats and the dashes and the whatever. Um, and it's hard. And especially I know in, in this day and age, I know money's tight. But the best thing you can do is spend money at a local restaurant. You know, Taco Bell is still going to be fine, you know, if you don't, you know, say you're, you're cutting from three days a week to two days a week. They will still be fine because they'll have that one customer who gets hooked on that new item for a while and they'll still be coming in daily. So don't worry about the big chains. I'm not saying don't go to the big chains because those guys need to work too. Um, I know my mom, she works for uh, Bob Evans and uh, they've been cutting their staff down towards like, you know, you only have three people, uh, one person like cleans, one person is taking orders, one person's in the back cooking, and then they have a manager. So basically like four people and people can come in and do pickup or they can uh, do carry out or delivery through DoorDash, Uber Eats, things like that. But what I'm encouraging you guys to do is please don't forget about your local businesses. I know it's easy in this day and age, money's tight. So I'm going to check out a place that I personally love. I've had them plenty of times before. Um, and it is a place called Moby Dick. Uh, there's, I know there's Moby Dicks all over the United States. Uh, but one's like a kebab place. This Moby Dick you'll find in the Kentucky, uh, the probably central Kentucky, um, southern Indiana area. Their big thing is fish. I mean, it's hand-breaded. Everything's made fresh daily. Um... And just the smell in this car right now is like, ah. Uh, they have nice combo meals, so they can help you out with that part. Um, again, it's going to be a little little more than you'd pay for your, you know, your big, your Taco Bell box at $5. But you're getting more than Taco Bell quality, okay? You know, at Taco Bell, they're not, they're not hand grinding the meat or, you know, they're not, they're not, uh, they're not doing any of that stuff. These guys are coming in early and they're hand breading the fish. You know, they've got a special, uh, a special seasoning blend, a special, like, mm, just a certain je ne sais quoi. Um, and um, so I ordered the uh, the first mate combo. You get uh, your choice. They just have, like, Coke drinks. I was like, hey, let's just do a Coke, um, rye bread. You have your choice of white or rye bread with your meals. And then I also ordered a mac and cheese. Grand total, 11-11. Make a wish. So... Crack open this thing. Oh boy. That's, that's like, okay, so they don't have um, a lot of to-go boxes. So that's why they handed, what they do is they hand bag kind of sideways and everything's kind of slid in, like the basket's kind of slid in the bag sideways. So instead of like when you go to uh, McDonald's, all those places, and they hand you the bag like this, they have to hand you the bag sideways because they don't have um, like to-go containers. Everything's like just boat, those boat containers. So, get your tartar sauce, which I believe their fish is good enough. If your fish is good enough that it can be with, done without uh, tartar sauce, go for it. Big reveal here, whoa. Big reveal here, whoa. The fries are everywhere. But I mean, that's, that's quite a bit of food for eight bucks here. Hmm, and Two huge pieces of rye bread. But here's the, look at that. Big, beautiful piece of fish. You got a big old hush puppy. And you can tell it's, it's homemade. It's got a little, certain things to it that you can tell. These are not hush puppies that are, that come pre-frozen, that are perfectly formed every time. So let's just get into the fish here. It's going to be a little hot, so I got to be careful. Oh, mmm, mmm. Um, mm. So what you got to get a hold of is that big, beautiful, flaky fish. Mm. 
Like, it's dripping. But that's not grease dripping out. That's just like, oh, gosh. It's perfect. Because the difference is, if it were greasy, I wouldn't be able to hold on to it like this. This would be slipping out of my hands. This is that fresh fried fish greasiness. And what I mean by that is, it's delicious, but it's not greasy. Like, I feel like I could put this on a sandwich and be like, whoa, that was amazing. And I feel like you're not going to have that, oh my gosh, I just ate, you know, fried fish and fried fries and that miserable feeling. Okay? Everything about this is amazing. Again, it's, it's a little unconventional because, again, they've just got, and as you can tell, it's a nice rainy day, so it's a good day for some hot fish. Hmm. But the fish is where it's at. The rye bread, you got a little fish. Pretty much you can't go wrong with anything you get. Um, they Moby Dick. They've got fried mushrooms. Uh, the onion rings I forgot to get. It's like their onion rings are excellent too. Just anything you order off their menu is great. They have family packs. Um, dinner for two, all sorts of great value deals. So just because it's not a $5 deal doesn't mean you should bypass their, their deliciousness. Definitely check out Moby Dick. There's uh, plenty of locations here in the Louisville and Southern Indiana area. Um, yeah, support local. There's a lot of young, young guys and gals who are in some of these great local restaurants. Um, you know, Think about this, okay? Think about all the great people who are working their butts off. They still have to go to work. And think local. Definitely think local. Especially, if you ever, or even like, uh, I don't know, Floyd County Brewing Company. Um, check them out. They will gladly, you know, get you some food to go. Just because you can't go in there and have one of their, their beers, I think you can, you can get a growler and take that home. Um, I'm not sure... Indiana, Kentucky laws about all that. You'll need to, whatever. But um, definitely get their food. You can, uh, nothing like some delicious, maybe pretzels and beer cheese to take home with you. Maybe you're on a road trip, even stop in there. Instead of going to the gas station, the Circle K, and getting some, you know, some chips, go by Flood County Brewing Company, get you some pretzels and beer cheese to take on the road. That is an excellent idea. Anyways, guys, this is the Webmaster here doing an in-car review here for you on Bill TV Network. Saying, check this stuff out. Hot Eats, delicious food, local restaurants. Support these guys during this downtime, uh, during this economic downturn. That's all I'm saying. You can get the Taco Bell, you can get the McDonald's any day. But during the day, during normal hours... Check out these places. They're not open late. They've got, you know, decent hours. But definitely check them out, especially for this sexy fried fish. Look at that, it's starting to fall apart. Excellent. This is the Webmaster here with Word of Mouth Food Reviews saying, Stay hungry and keep it local. Webmaster, Word of Mouth Food Reviews, out.